look upward and you can see this cha uh, chandelier kind of just swaying around a little bit from the air Bula. that was coming in. Yes. From the Bula, Bula sees this chandelier and immediately ignores everything else and is fascinated by it. You are fascinated. Okay, you're fascinated by a chandelier sparkling in 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 the sun ray that are, that's coming in through from the uh, from the the window. Or with a little bit, with a little bit of still can go through. You see the sparkling. You're just you're just in awe. This amazing thing that kind of just sways around right above you. You look at it. It just sparkles everywhere. You're so fascinated about it. Um, Lord. <laughs> Kangaroo, how does it work? When Kuma walks in through the door after Bula, she sees that Bula is staring up at the chandelier on the ceiling. S -s Seeing that they are so distracted by it, they try cast using prestigitation to cast some sparkles around the chandelier to see if Bula reacts to them at all. <laughs> so, Bula, you just see even more know. sparkles. Just kind of like these sparkles now, oh, now are around, now we're all around it. Just making it like a light show for you. This amazing chandelier now make, making sparkles? It makes sparkles? I want it. I need it. I'm taking it down. It's mine. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I must wait, know wait, how wait. it works. What are you gonna do, Bula? Uh. Fuck. I'm gonna throw a javelin at it. Alright. Lord, on what were you going what? to do? To <laughs> maybe prevent it? Lord was gonna walk in and be entranced by the chandelier, too. Okay. Bula. Uh. Roll. Okay. An attack. See if you can hit the the chain. No. Nope. Nope. Nine. You throw. You wanted to throw it, but you're so invested into this chandelier. You can just throw it to your side, not even actually trying to hit it anymore. It just kind of falls out of your hand as you kind of throw it. It just falls right in front of you, so you can you still. And pick it up if you wanted to, but this chandelier just keeps sparkling more <laughs> and more. And Lorlan, you Bula, as well. Bula's gone. <laughs> Lorlan, you as well. You look up at this chandelier. Amazing sight. You see all these sparkles and light reflections. Now, whoa! You are amazed as well. You and Bula are standing next to each other, looking at this. Chandelier. <laughs> what a sight. Lorlin, Lorlin's not very smart either, so. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Lorlin's just gonna put her paw, her paw, on a uh, freaking however high she could reach for Bulla. And just say, that is so cool. <laughs> A bullet is gonna pick you up and try to have you reach for it. <laughs> oh. Oh I, no. I really want you to roll for that, but I'm not. You're strong. Roll. You strong. You're so strong. You're strong enough, Bullet, to get to get Laurel onto your back. But Laurel, I want you to make a a acrobatics or athletics. Probably acrobatics. You said plus five. Yeah. 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 I'm scared. Natural <laughs> twenty. <laughs> you, as you, as you get um, pulled up onto Bula as um, 
shoulders you stand on those shoulders and you just reach for it you try and grab it and you grab it you can now touch the chandelier <laughs> Tomo thinking <laughs> Tomo you see this happen what are you doing when Tomo realizes that she has accidentally made both Ula and Laurelin absolutely obsessed with this perfectly normal, regular old chandelier, she tries to do the opposite of her initial action. Getting rid of the sparkly effects, and instead using thaumaturgy to dim down the light of the chandelier. As you do so, Bula and um, Laurelin, you guys, you guys just see sparkles just poof. He just goes away. And it just starts to get dark. Where did the sparkles go? Are you okay? Bula says, He doesn't have enough sun. Rip it down. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to try and pull on the chandelier to throw it down? Uh, yeah. Roll a string check. <laughs> uh, so it's just a regular thing. Cool. Yep. Yep. How long have we been on this oh, give him advantage. Five minutes. Will you want to give a down advantage? Yeah. Yes. Roll a boot advantage, so chicken. I have an. I have an advantage. Yeah. Okay! Uh <laughs> <sighs> One off from a natural play. <laughs> you grab onto the chandelier and you just start <laughs> pulling. Bula, your hands on uh, Lauren's feet. Just, both of you are pulling and pulling. The chandelier starts to sway over and all over the place. Some, some lights that we're in it just fall out of it as from the sun shaking um the the wood on top is starting to break as you start pulling more and more it breaks more a little bit more and it just and before you even know it it just falls it just it just falls and just a, this big cloud of dust flies everywhere the chandelier um half broken half still intact now on laying on the ground right in front of you as you can look as you look up the the wood is just broken i kind of gave in and you can, now you can see a little light on the outside from the outside oh. you have a broken chandelier on the ground that is still dark well bullet doesn't care if it's broken brula's taking it outside <laughs> You're taking the chandelier outside. You walk towards the door you while holding it. You walk through your own silhouette the same way, and you get stuck. The chandelier is not big enough to get through the door. Damn it. There's a window <laughs> that might be enough to get it. <gasps> Put it down the window! I throw it through the window. <laughs> make, or I'm not gonna make it roll. I'm Actually, listen to my small friend and. Make a. Why did you hand it to me? Why did you hand it to Laura Lennon? Athletics check? Can, no, make it just a. Or just roll a, roll a d20. Just roll a d20. Just do it. Just roll a d20. Just do it. Four. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> well... Oh you... no, what did they... What did... What, 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 what? You try what? and go back. And you try to turn around with the chandelier in your head. In your hand, so you just walk, just try to walk backwards, but you forgot that you're still holding the chandelier. So you're walking to the, f you walk into the door, 
on the side with a chandelier still in hand. <laughs> you try it, you so you let loose. We need no. You let loose and you get through it. You pull the chandelier with you to the um to the house, scraping the floor, and you look at the window. Now I would like to you to just roll. Um, I guess athletics strength? or strength, whatever. Well, it's the same same way. Just a d twenty plus three. Yeah. So how does now how does Tomo feel that we're just like trying to get out? <laughs> Fifteen. You kind of spin around with the chandelier in your hand and you just throw it through through the window crash clashing all of the all of the, the window pieces going and all just all over the place you now have a chandelier that went through the, the window on the floor outside sparkling again <gasps> half Bula no. is happy and not even half broken. It is nearly just broken fully. But it's still kind of standing. Big burly animal, bring me with you outside! <laughs> I'm a. I look over and I says, I'm a dragonborn, but yes. <laughs> 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 Tomo waiting in the building while we're distracting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I love this, but we've been on this chandelier for 10 minutes now. I love it. <laughs> so, Tomo, what, what you see is the weirdest thing. You see um, Lorlan and Bula just pulling on the chandelier, letting it fall down, crashing onto the floor. Bula trying to to push it out of the out of the door, gets stuck. Hangs his head on on the side of the door, walks back in, takes the chandelier, chandelier throwing through the <laughs> through the window, window window clashes and all pieces all over. You see Bula and Lorlin hand in hand walking through the door again and watching the chandelier. <laughs> Thing I've done. What? You can hear Tomo yelling to herself. What is wrong with these stupid idiots? <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever done within my D and D career. <laughs> <sighs> I am so happy to hear that. <laughs> I swear, what happened with these people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fourteen, of the fourteen years I've played D and D, this is the funniest thing I've, I've I am been in. So happy to hear that. Oh, I'm so happy that oh. I can be that I can do this all for you. <laughs> I've only done it for like six years. <laughs> I've done it for a year, and I'm I'm doing a DM right now. <laughs> <laughs> we know, we know now. Know you can handle being a DM. <laughs> I think so, I think so. <laughs> yeah. You can handle putting up with everyone's nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> and <Mostly>. encouraging it. <laughs> oh. Whew. Okay. Uh, let's say that this is the, chande uh, the chandelier now. Um, I can't get about it. Uh, map my background. Take, just like, just take that as the chandelier. <laughs> We're just staring at the chandelier and staring at it very intently. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Oh my god. Oh, that was great. So <laughs> Oh my god. Chomo. What do you do? After you've been, after you see all this and yelling to yourself, what do you do? Tomo is done. <laughs> <laughs> She's just going to ignore them. Take another look around the house. Okay. Back to the bookshelf, which seems to be filled with a few books. Oh my God. 
the one that is, and the yeah, other two that are not. She's going to make her way over to the bookshelf and see what sorts of books she can find there. Sure. You, um... <sighs> you... Mm, you walk around of the house and you kind of see this door. Uh, it's kind of with gold strings around them. Um, very fancy door, very vil very well made. Um, you you kind of imagine that this was maybe their leader that was, that stays uh, uh, in that after behind that door. Um, but as you said, you go back to the the bookcases and you kind of look through them. You kind of take one out and you just like um, look at one of them. For all of your critical role fanatics, you found tusk glove. You put it back, and you mm -hmm. don't touch it again. You, um, kind of just rummage around. Nothing really that stands, um, stands out for you. That's like a book of how to deal with a sad sandworm. How to deal with this, how to deal with that, how do I, how do I shoot an arrow? <laughs> um, how do I... How convenient. You find also a book of, very rarely, how do I walk through a door? Hmm. <laughs> you kind of just rummage around you. Yeah. That's really it. As someone's doing this, um... Lorelin gets very, very bored and starts walking back inside. <laughs> As you do, you seem to hear something in the back of your head. No. Mm -hmm. But I'm so pretty. You think that there's someone talking now from this chandelier. What? Ooh, somebody talking? It seems to be weirdly, but it's... No one else heard it. Only you, it seems. You start to get. You start mm -hmm. looking at the chandelier a lot more. I, I am going to make an investigation check to see what's wrong with it. All right, you go and do that. <laughs> you look well. at it, and you are fascinated again. <laughs> You are amazed at it again. You look at it, you cannot avert your eyes at all at this moment. <laughs> and she's just and she's just staring at it. She just says to Burla, It said something to me, but I don't care. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna try to take it apart. Uh. Sure. Um Make a. I don't know. You don't have to roll. You just start, like. You start just, like, um. Kind of pulling on some of the rods that are sticking out from the big, um. Chandelier. You look at the. At the. The chain that has. That held it up. You kind of pull it off, um. You look at it, and it's, it is very... It looks golden, and you kind of, like, scrap... Uh, you kind of sharp your um, weapon a little bit with it. And you can see that it kind of... It doesn't flake off, so it seems to be a, just gold. So this is a golden chain that you now have. Um, you... The perfect size around your neck, it seems. Um, you... <laughs> you... Get more into it, and you kind of just, like, slash around, um, taking off some parts here and there. You take some... Mm, you take some candles out of it. Um, if you want, you can add... Three candles to, you, to your inventory. Um... Yay! As you kind of... Look more, you kind of, um, if you really want to tear it apart, you just pull on everything and s some stuff like 
um, just pops out as it's been pretty much damaged by this point. Um, now I feel like it's gonna scream in Lorelin's brain. <laughs> Lorelin, make... Uh, <laughs> make a constitution... No, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun <laughs> with this now. <laughs> I see. And why not, you know? Nine. Oh no. So <laughs> you in your head seems to seem seem to like have a connection with this. This the chandelier <laughs> is like your life now. Like it's it's yours. You don't want it to get hurt. You're like a bulla and bull is trying to like rip it all apart. You want this to be intact you this is yours this is this is this is your sparkly thing you do not want to my do precious <laughs> what do you do attack Bula. cool you attack Bula. <laughs> and Bula, you look behind you and you just see a mouse running at you and just having their fist up and you hey just go for you um Lorlan, make an attack roll. Okay. That's like what? For an arm? D20 plus five, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Tomo's going about about their business and Lorlan's like, don't <laughs> attack my chandelier. <laughs> you miss. You try and oh. hit Bula and you just Miss you, 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 your your gaze is still upon this amazing looking chandelier on this crown. Um, Bula, you just hear like a whiff next to your ear as as Lord and Kenda just try to punch you, saying it's mine. I would swear, if you try and punch my character, <laughs> the moment I would I hear that, slap you. I would My character uh, drops the chandelier parts, takes the golden chain, puts it in into the in Loreline Lorelan's Lorelan <laughs> Laura's hand. I says, right. "Okay," and I walk away. Oh, that would Lauren. be hilarious if you just punted my character. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, as you hmm. get this chain, do you feel at ease? Hmm. <laughs> Even though there's glass everywhere, I'm just gonna try and cuddle the chandelier. You get close <laughs> to it and you kind of just cuddle up to it. Um, <laughs> that's how that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I am so done with the chandelier at this moment. Um, Bula, <laughs> you just gave the chain to Warren. What do you do? Do you go back inside where? Um, where Tomo is. Yes, I do. Okay. Tomo, what have you been up to while this all happened? Building. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've seen, but like actually what have you done? Can I just reading? So Bola walks in? Yeah. Bola just walks in. Bola sees Tomo sitting at one of the desks, skimming through pages in one of the books with a few other books to her side. Is when she hears. Huh? Is one of the books shooting an arrow? How to shoot an arrow? Maybe. Oh, yeah, the bow and arrow at the door. As she hears Bula stomp through the door once again, she turns around to see, make sure it is them. She promptly picks up one of the books from the table and throws it at her. <laughs> make it an attack roll. A bit plus, uh, plus one. Me <gasps> 20 plus one. <gasps> Oh, 
Le gasp. Le gasp. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> you throw this book and it just flaps open and it just falls in front of you. Oh. You didn't get it anywhere. That's anticlimactic. That's anticlimactic. Yes, it is. <laughs> you. Um, you throw this random book at, at Bull and it just kind of flaps open and it just stops and he just falls. Um, Bula, as you walk in, you just go, you look at the bow and arrow, uh, arrow, you walk through your own silhouette again, you look at, <laughs> you look at, Lorla, um, you look at Tomo, and she looks at you and she just throws a book, the book just goes towards you, it flaps open and just falls in. <laughs> what do you do at the site? I go to the bookshelf, walking by it, and then try to move the bookshelf. You... Okay. You try and move the bookshelf. Make a strength roll. Oh. It's a Ooh. whole bookshelf. <laughs> bookshelf crushes me. <laughs> you give Faith me an idea. You don't have... You should not say those things. <laughs> <laughs> 21 okay if you rolled a 5 or lower it would have actually done that um you <laughs> you grab the bookshelf you just like like a little shelf you just shove it to the side and there is just a wall punches the wall to make it make a uh, pathway <laughs> What do you do? You look at this wall that you have now uncovered. Oh, that looks over. I look over at Tomo as as this all seems to be not very interesting. You cut what? out the whole time. What did you say? Hold on, I speak Calum. I look at Tomo and I say, <laughs> the house doesn't seem to be that interesting. Yeah, there's not much in here aside from a few books, tables. One book in particular that you'll find quite a lot of use out of. <laughs> she says as she gestures think... towards the book on the floor. How she walk through a door. Pick the book up. <laughs> you pick up the book. You look at the cover, and it's just ha and just kind of uh, you kind of look towards your left. At your own silhouette through the door, and you look at the cover, and it kind of looks the same. You see a door <laughs> with a silhouette of someone through it. Uh, do you open the book? I throw the book behind me, and I say, "Mastered it." You, oh, oh! You throw the book behind you, and it just falls open to a page. And as you kind of look back towards the the book it can oh, it seems to only have two pages the, and it kind of just flaps by and the first page is it's just a door and the second page is a door with a silhouette through it and at the third one you just see someone looking outside of the silhouette that's the book <laughs> it doesn't even have instructions it just shows you that's the it's book. pictures. It's just the picture book. <laughs> um, okay. Um, <laughs> Lorland, do you are you still just cuddling up with the chandelier? Yes, it's okay. my precious. Um, Tomo and Bula, you're now inside. Tomo, you're looking around in these books that you're reading. Are you trying to? Are you wanting to read one of them? Yes. Which one? How to shoot bows. So, you open <laughs> the book and you kind of just flip around, flip through some pages, and it seems the first page is like how to shoot an arrow. You you flip through it and it kind of just says uh, how you need to hold your, how to hold your hand on the, the bow and how to hold the string, 
and then it kind of says how you have to put the arrow in pull it back and shoot it and it starts to start to learn that you learn how to shoot um an arrow with a bow and at the very end of it as it's not a lot of reading you see at the end two pictures on the left it seems to have a picture of a target and on the right it has a picture of the same target but with an arrow on it seeming to <laughs> show you how to shoot a target these are not very with pictures they're not they're not they're not there yet they don't know how to use pictures in these books yet it's a new thing picture books you now know how to shoot an arrow one single yeah. arrow <laughs> throwing a party yeah um bula what do you do you're you've just thrown a book away A book that I'm not going to read. Nope. <laughs> She's probably going to make her way back over to the bookshelf. Okay. Now the question was, which bookshelf did they move? Probably the middle one. I'm the middle one and kind of shove the left one to the left. Showing... Hmm. Was that the one with books on it? The one with books one was on the very left. I kind of just shoved to the left. Um... Just scooched. Yes, just scooched. Um, Bula, are you there? Bula, are you on your ninth flight? Yeah, but... I think she's on her ninth life now. Right. Maybe. Um, oh, no. Here. Okay. You have. Can you not hear me? I didn't hear, I can't you, for hear a while, you. But I can hear you now. So, Bula, you see uh, this opening between the bookshelves that you made, uh, just a wall. Uh, what do you do? An opening in the wall. I'm gonna walk through it. You gonna walk through it. Make a strength check. <laughs> Fuck no. Actually, you know what? You already did a strength check of 21. You just walked through the fucking wall. Yeah. You're making another silhouette of yourself and you walk outside. Oh my gosh. You are Is now this... outside with a hole in the wall. <laughs> There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the house. Isn't anybody gonna check on Lorlan? <laughs> Tomo. Tomo gave up on checking on both of you. Tomo, you just see. Sorry, I'm checking a book. Yeah, Tomo, you just see Bola. Bol uh, walk through the. Walk. From your perspective, just walks through the wall again and just vanishes. You're just like, ah, f god dang it. You go on back to your reading. Lorlin, what are you doing? You're just still cuddling with the chandelier. No, Lorlin. <laughs> Lorlin's gonna realize that they're cut, they're covered in cuts and bruises because of, of the glass. Uh, Hi, right. you take two damage. Point. from... Yeah. You take two damage from rolling around in glass. Yeah. I'm at like nine. Um. 
Lorelai's gonna walk into back into the house and look at <laughs> and look at Tomo right directly in the eyes and say, "It was my precious." <laughs> Lorlin, as you walk through the silhouette of Bula again, you first notice there's another silhouette of Bula in the other s in the other s side of where you just walked into. You don't really mind it at this moment. You look through Tomo, reading through books. You see a book on the ground that just kind of flips, keeps flipping through how to walk through a wall. Um. <laughs> You just look at Tomo. Tomo, you see, you feel a presence behind you as Lorelin stares right into your soul. <laughs> Tomo. <laughs> what now? Please don't tell me to come and praise your gorgeous chandelier guardian angel. Ah, uh, Tomo, look at me. <laughs> I rolled in glass. What? <laughs> um. I don't even know what to do now. <laughs>